Hunter Gibson was just 20 years old when he was riding his motorcycle down this stretch of Sun Valley Parkway when a driver drunk, speeding and texting plowed into him. Since then, this memorial has been here in his honor, but recently it was vandalized. I come here every day to just remember him. A place for Hunter Gibson's family and friends to stop. But the evening before Christmas Eve, it doesn't look like this was cut or nothing. It looks like it was just kind of lifted off. Maybe someone stole the metal cross that was in this spot. His friend and friend's father made it for the memorial. And they put their cross necklace on it. They had Hunter's glasses on there that his glasses were broken and just thrown on the ground. Like it was just garbage, like he didn't mean anything. And it was really hurtful, especially around Christmas time that somebody could try and destroy a family and do that. Hunter Gibson was a motorhead through and through. He was loud. He was proud to be Hunter. He was always working on something. If he didn't have a motor in his hand or anything, he wasn't happy. His dad warned him March 4th, 2022, the night he left on his motorcycle to play basketball, be careful. He always said, it ain't gonna happen to me. I'm, and it does. And unfortunately, like I said, it was a drunk driver that made the wrong choice that made it happen to him. It wasn't nothing he did. Police determined 46-year-old Robert Nelson was drunk, texting, and going more than 100 miles an hour when he struck Hunter, throwing him more than 300 feet in the air. He got behind the wheel that night. Hunter didn't do anything. Hunter just was in his own place, minding his own business, and just trying to enjoy himself and get ready for his birthday. Just three weeks shy of turning 21, his family has lived with the pain of losing him. Now losing the centerpiece of this memorial is opening the wound again. It caused more hurt and pain in the family that we didn't need, especially around Christmas. And we would just like to have it back. We're not going to ask why. The drunk driver took a plea deal for 10 years in prison. Hunter's dad is hoping this will serve as a reminder to not drink and drive this holiday weekend. In Waddell, Angie Cayley for Arizona's Family.